If you've just joined us, this is Sebastian from Extreme Tech, and here you can see ice cream sandwich installing on a Nexus S. We'll probably just skip through this bit because, well, it takes about 30 seconds. And people don't have the attention span that they used to back when I was a child. My dad would force me to play chess every evening and he would take half an hour to take each move and force me to watch him. That was, it was agonizing, I tell you. Okay, here we go. This is a clean install, by the way. Apps and cache are gone. And now we're going to get the whooshy Nexus thing. Yeah, I'm sure it won't be long now. Hallelujah! And this is Ice Cream Sandwich running on an Nexus S. This is the lock screen. We can either go left to the camera or right to the lock. And it kind of grips on with a response. With a vibration response. Let's unlock. Here's the home page. Home screen. You can see I've already added a widget. I have no upcoming events and by default now you have this control bar although who knows why it's on that screen notifications tray you can see it's pretty slick if you click up there you go through to the settings which is very nice and at the top of the settings you have these new wireless and networks controls to turn Wi-Fi on and off and Bluetooth Data usage, you can see drill down to browser usage. I didn't work out how to uh, set a limit on what they can use. Ah, no. Well, here you can see that you can limit, you can tell the browser not to load images. But there's no easy way Maybe it hasn't been enabled on this build of ICS. But as you can see, there's no, there's no way to set a limit on the amount of traffic. Even if you go here and click restrict background data, it says a mobile data limit. Anyway, uh, some more ICS features. Here we have the task switcher, which now has the whole swipe left and right to dismiss. So we can dismiss the settings like that. Go to the browser. This is extreme tech, obviously. Oh, it's reloading. As you can see, it's pretty darn smooth. It might even be smoother than gingerbread. Let's uh, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, very fast, let's go back to the home page, we can check out, uh, let's check the camera out from the lock screen, the camera loads pretty quickly, it uh, also takes photos quicker than gingerbread which is nice. Oh, that wasn't a good example. Normally it's a bit quicker. Uh, video mode was a bit buggy. That's one of the only bugs with this build. Let's see if it works. It doesn't seem to work at the moment, Let's see? And then you have panorama, sorry, panorama mode. That was my American accent coming out. And here you have an indicator at the bottom that shows you how to move it. Oh, it thinks we're on the right at the moment, so now we're going to go... You see it? It's hard to show you on camera. And it tells you if you're going too fast. And then it compiles a panorama for you. Oh, it's doing that now, apparently. 
It's not going to be a very good panorama though, is it? Okay, let's go back. What else is there? We can show you uh, Gmail. The new Roboto font. Don't try looking at my email, by the way. There's nothing too exciting there. an email to my boss, by the way. It all looks very nice. We can see messaging, which again looks very like Gmail. Um, and messaging is now in a threaded fashion. So when you send this, you're on the right hand side, they're on the left, like iPhone. I've just sent a moo message to Google. I wonder if they'll like that. And I think that's about it. And you can look at people, but I'm not going to show you many of my friends because they probably don't want to be associated with me, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. Oh, these are my starred friends, Lee and Sal. Okay, and that's an uh, ice cream sandwich running on a Nexus S. Uh, it's surprisingly smooth, as you can see. This is Sebastian for Extreme Tech. Goodbye.